Hey guys, Brad from uh, Red Pines. Uh, today's video is going to be all about the RV I'm renovating. Um, and I'm going to do a little introduction. Then I'm going to kind of walk around the RV, tell you what I've done, what I'm doing. And uh, then I'll keep adding on to that. Um, one of the things that a lot of people may have noticed. Basically the inflation that we're all experiencing right now from gas to lumber. I've had to even stop working on my studio because the lumber has quadrupled in price and I just can't afford the uh, the lumber I need for that. Luckily, I had purchased a lot of the material that I need um, for the RV a couple years back. So after last year, and we all know last year was, was like a horrible year. And a lot of things, you know, happened last year that changed people's views on things like homestead or homesteading uh prepping uh things like that you saw a lot more people starting gardens trying to grow their own food that had never done that before um a lot more family time that was a good thing um and a lot of people you know went out and purchased campers and rvs um and that's a fact there are a couple reasons for that one is, you know, just camping and having more quality time with their family, you know. Um, so a lot of people hit the road last summer. Um, but the other reason is, and wherever you stand on this is fine, I'm just putting it out there, because um, this is also, you know, one of the reasons I do it. I mean, I love the outdoors. I've been camping my whole life. Uh, but the older you get, the more uh, you realize, you know, laying in a ground in a tent, you know, is, eh, you know, for us old people. But one of the reasons a lot of people are buying up used and new RVs um, is for prepping slash, you know, shit hits the fan kind of a situation. If things get really bad and someone needs to kind of get out of town quick, they have like a mobile home, hence the camper or RV, and uh, they can hit the road and they can have their food and they can have the you know, the comforts of home inside their camper. And they may have a little piece of property or they may have a location that if things get really bad, you know, where they are, um, they're going to hit the road and just go out there. Um, anyways, the purpose of this was to kind of show you what I got, what I paid for it, what things are going now, because a couple of people have actually asked me what the prices are these days. And so let's walk around. I'll give you a little tour of, the outside of it, um, and we'll go from there. All right, so this is actually a 1990, I'm sorry, a 1988 Fleetwood Raleigh. Um, it's pretty much the same as a Jamboree RV. It's a Class C uh, motorhome. Um, and I actually bought this because I do like to renovate. I like doing things like no. this. Bear in mind, this is not a complete restoration I'm doing. So I'm not ripping out all the walls and putting all new studs in. Um, I've done some of that. Uh, but from what I can see, a lot of it's still in good shape. First thing I did have done was I had the engine checked out. Now this is a Ford 460 engine. And I did take it to a mechanic before I even started any renovation. You know, so I did have a tune up, some new spark plug wires, new battery put in, but it runs wonderful. Now the outside, um, is going to need some work and painting. I'm hoping to have all this done by next summer. If you've been on my Facebook and seen some of the pictures I posted, um, I did do some repair to a few pinhole leaks that were on the roof. And then I coated the entire roof with um, an RV roof, aluminum roof okay, ceiling. So one of the things I'm going to do, I have to order the, uh, I have to order this vinyl insert here. It's actually like a rubber, um, trim that goes inside this corner molding all that corner molding has screws under it it's all coming off it will be cleaned uh repainted and i'm ordering the new 
uh, rubber sealant for it. But here is where it gets really funky. And so <laughs> the seam over here split, I guess, at some point. And um, this guy just filled it in with some cheap caulk, hoping that would do the trick. But obviously, you know, it hasn't. So I'll be repairing all that. Another look at some of that corner molding and... You know, he, again, he just tried to fill this in with caulk. And I'm sorry. Like I said, I don't want to put anybody down and put their work down. But this was not done right. So hopefully I can do a better job fixing this. So once we got caught up on each other's lives, we finally got to work. I got a nice break from my knees and let the young bloods go up on the ladders and the scaffolding. They carefully removed the old trim and we cleaned both the trim and the RV corners with crud cutter and mineral spirits. After going at it for a while, it was time for a beer break. We then applied seal tight corner tape as the first barrier against water leakage. New butyl tape and caulk would complete the job before installing the new vinyl trim insert over the screws. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have the black insert trim that goes over the screws. I just haven't put it in yet. Um, still a couple things I want to do first. Um, these marks like right here, like when you're taking the trim off, they say to put marks like where some of your screws will line up um, because once you put that tape on, you can't see the holes anymore. So that's all caulked up and so far so good. Um, show you a little bit on the other side here. So this is the uh, black trim. I'm using black trim on this. This is brand new. I just cut a piece off and stuck it in there just to see what it would look like, um, which I think is going to look really nice once it's all in there. This piece I got done, a buddy of mine had taken most of it off, and then they had to leave, so I wound up getting it back on, uh, putting the die core uh, seal tight tape on, then using the caulk. Um, and I got to about, right about there. Hey, so I'm back. A couple days have gone by, and um, I'll show you more of a close up in a second. Um, I got all the trim back on. Um, everything is caulked. Um, some of the caulk got a little sloppy. Um, I'm not the best caulker anyways, but better. Uh, so I'll show you what I did up close. What I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of painting the uh, trim. I'm just spray painting a semi-gloss on it right now. Let it dry overnight and tomorrow I'm going to put the black vinyl trim inside, uh, which covers the screws. And then I'll, uh, I'll give you a videotape of that. But right now let's take the the phone over there and I'll show you what uh, what I came up right, with. So you can see, I put the original trim that starts from the, the roof, comes down the front, and then bends underneath. And that long piece I replaced, remember, with uh, the piece of aluminum. Um, and this worked out fine. The walls seem to be pretty solid, um, so the screws screwed fine into those. Um, I did caulk everything, and I just kind of put a primer, then a a paint on that It'd just be easier to paint it now as long as they had it off or i'm working on it once the exterior gets painted which i believe is next year so this piece wasn't too bad on the other side i'll show you what this side didn't turn out too bad and i mean the the new piece here is great this thing like i say is more solid than probably when they built the rv um this original trim that goes up to the roof if i go from the front you'll see it's slightly slightly bent outward from him pounding on it i think he kind of bent the trim up a little bit i tried to get it back straight did the best i could but it's holding and it's on there nice and solid um so all this stuff here is i mean it's not going anywhere well <clears throat> here i am up on the scaffold on top of the uh rv i'm not on top but i'm on the scaffold anyways uh today i'm almost finalizing some of the trim that we've done we're not done with all the trim up what here not. i still have to caulk the very ends of the black vinyl trim um but i'm going to do that um 
when I start working on these side windows, which will be probably in a couple days. Um, but let me turn the camera around and kind of show you what it looks Here's like. Here's uh, the black trim. If you look up ahead, you can see that piece there. I haven't taken it off yet, so I didn't put the trim there. But did the trim here because we got all this done. Um, and then I'm trying not to fall off the scaffolding here. And then now uh, you can see it's connected to the roll down below. So um, it, it basically just, it just pinches in. You just pinch the sides in and it goes inside the lip like that. You know, and then it's in there real good. So um, do that all the way around. We're going with a white black uh, trim this time instead of that creamy, I don't know what color that is. Anyways, um, give you a quick tour of it when I'm done.